Hello, it's Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Vancouver Island, BC. And today I am going to show you the mirror image uh, technique or as some people call it, the kissing technique. And how we do that is by using a stamp set that has a image, whether it be an animal or a person, that you want them to be looking at each other. And in this case, I'm using the bunny. And the bunny, um, I do want them to be looking together because look at this sentiment. The best way to get through things is together. And I got that from the beautiful Through It Together stamp set, which has amazing, uh, huge variety of different stamps that uh, really can encourage one another. So how to make this card? Let's get going. I'm going to show you the best way and that is by using a Stamparatus. And in a little while I'll show you why it works more effectively using a Stamparatus. So we're going to take our plate and open it up and then we're going to place a silicone mat. Now this is a silicone craft mat that's available in the annual catalog and you want to make sure it's clean. I used this one earlier this morning and you can see there's a few glue spots that I have not cleaned up yet, which is easy to do, but this one is clean. So I am going to use that one in my Stamparatus. Oh, and also we need to make sure that the Stamparatus little, or the stamp, Stampin' Up logo, sorry, is here in the corner and it's raised a bit. You need to make sure that that is up and out of the way. So we're going to take our image, which is the little bunny, and he's sticking to me, thanks to our cling stamps. And we're going to put that down and grab it with our top plate and then come back up. And then we're going to use the Memento Black ink and we are going to stamp up our bunny and then go right down, not on paper, right onto our silicone mat and lift and you have an image there but it is quite light so this is the advantage of doing this with the set stamp apparatus because if we were using the block we could only stamp it one time and that's what you got but this way we can be very careful that we oh, I'm getting too much so this is the advantage with using also the silicone mat and the Stamparatus is I have a little bit too much ink on the ears. So I'm just gonna wipe that off. No problem, we haven't even wasted paper. And we are going to go back again. I'll try not to be quite so heavy on the ears. Go back down and lift up. That looks a little better. And then we're gonna do it again. again. That's pretty good. I might even just do it one more time because this image being the mirrored image we want to be as dark as the other image that we're going to stamp directly onto our paper. So we lift it up and now we're going to take our stamp apparatus out of the way. We are going to take a piece of paper, put it down, I'll go up a little further so you can see, now, this is where it's very important to be very careful. Obviously, you can't be smearing it around and also you can't take too long because this ink will dry. But we are going to, as you get closer, you can see your paper and that's how you can line it up. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the corner down and then I'm gonna drop it down, put my thumb here, and then I'm gonna press down the image. And I find by doing that, it stabilizes it so that it does not smudge. So there we go. Press down, give the ink a little time to absorb. And there we go. Now carefully lift straight up and look at that beautiful image. So now what we're going to do is take our chamois again and I'm just going to, um, and you can, like you can see, this is how easy it is just to clean your silicone mat. We're gonna put that over there and now we're gonna just clean off our stamp. 
And I guess you could do it with the Stamparatus, but because I have the bunny placed in a specific spot, this is where now I want to take the block, oops, wrong way, pick up the bunny, and this is where I'm gonna now stamp again with my black Memento ink. Oh, well, look at that. That would be a disaster. <laughs> Let's get that off. Obviously, I inked really well in that stamp pad, so I gotta be careful. Okay, so just lightly, even look at it first. You know, those ears are still looking kind of dark. Be okay. Okay. Now this is where you go down and you just have them basically kind of where their noses are kissing each other. And press down. Don't rock and tip. And then you're going to let go and lift straight up. And there you have the bunnies. Now, what we are going to do now, oh, cover up my ink, is I am going to take the color and contour dies. And oh my goodness, these are amazing. This is just one of them. They are great for all kinds of cards. They have the beautiful scalloped edge and a variety of different ones. But see how they fit in there just beautifully? And then what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna run this through my um, cut and emboss machine. Oh, hang on. I'll just quickly run that through. Okay. Oh, that looks good. All right. So here we now have our image. Isn't that beautiful? I just love the scalloped edge and the stitching that shows up on those dies. So now we're ready, and I normally would color inside my image, but because this is a wild rabbit that's outside, I'm gonna keep it white because I'm gonna make it look like he's also in the snow. So if you were going to color them, obviously you would take your silicone mat in and you would color, or a piece of paper, and you would just color because it will bleed through if you're using blends, but that is okay because we are going to pop up our little uh, rectangle, so that wouldn't be a problem. Okay, now I had my card here. It's walked off, there we go. So I have a piece of uh, card stock, which is just scored in half, and which is eight and a half by five and a half and scored in half. And then I have this beautiful paper, which is um, the Peaceful Place paper. And I am just gonna show you really quickly what this paper looks like. And then I'll show you what I did with that beautiful ribbon. So this is the specialty paper that's in the new holiday catalog. And oops, I'm showing it upside down. But look at this image. And when I saw it in the catalog, I thought, oh, that's nice. and calming neutral colors but whoa I did not notice there was the beautiful silver foil in it it is beautiful so on the other side you have a neutral um, shape that does uh, not have any foil or sparkle then you have this beautiful image where you're going to have the beautiful snow on the bottom and you cut it in half and you can make it into two or three cards depending on which way and then on this side as well, which way you cut it. And then on that side, it is, look at that interesting design, but nice and neutral. Okay, then we have this beautiful design. I love that. That's just, and you can hopefully see the sparkle that's in there. Beautiful. And this one has the beautiful cabins, which is uh, corresponding with the peaceful cabin bundle which hasn't arrived yet but it will be coming and look how peaceful that looks and then if that was the same that won't help and then we have this one which is the timber now this timber you can see again there is the beautiful foil that's in there and there is an embossing folder that comes exactly like this the timber embossing folder I can't wait to use that one haven't got it yet, not yet. 
but look at this one. This is the paper we are actually using. These are 12 by 12, by the way, I should say. And you get six designs and two of each. So you get a total of uh, 12 papers. And yes, I absolutely love that design. And then you have a nice neutral gingham, black and white on the back. And then you also get this page, which is designed to be four or what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it this way and make a slimline card and then make this for another uh, card. So technically, this one would make me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight card fronts. So that would be very, very beautiful. And you can put an image there. Amazing. So that is the paper that we are using here. So I couldn't resist with these bunnies to be able to use this. Now, before we glue this onto the paper, I am using one other special thing, and that is the returning favorite ribbon, which was from last catalog, which is again in our new holiday catalog. And to put this on the paper, which I can show you, I have it right on the bottom here. Now, you think, okay, how am I supposed to glue that on there? Well, again, we can take our trusty silicone craft mat and we are going to just cut approximately, let's see, approximately right there, just so it will cover our front. And we are gonna take this craft mat, now it's got little sparkles all over it, and I am going to be putting this square or rectangle right on top, so I'm not so worried about it being there. Um, but I'm going to take my stamp and seal, and that's the other beautiful thing with a um, silicone mat is when you start off, sometimes your uh, adhesive doesn't grab, but the silicone mat really quickly grabs it and sticks. So what we're going to do is on this top part, we're just going to put a little bit here at the top and lift and see it doesn't go on your paper, stick into your cards. That's the wonderful thing about a silicone mat. And actually, I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to do a little here and then just do a little bit going this way. And now you say, uh oh, but now it's going to be sticky on that side. Yep, but that's okay. That's where we can again use our silicone mat. It's kind of stick it down because it will re stick again because it's just been on the craft mat. And this is where you can take. Um, one of these little eraser, uh, dry, what do they call them? Dry eraser uh, adhesive. I don't know what they call them. Stampin' Up! used to have them and we don't have them anymore, but they are still readily available elsewhere. And even at Dollar Store, I think I've seen them, but we can take them and we're going to take this now on our paper. And what side did I have glued? This side is not so gluey. Okay, now we're going to make sure it covers the whole paper. And now we're going to stick that down. And if you still have a little bit of residue, you can just use your finger and get it off because we don't want it sticking to everything. Just like that. And now, you go, oh, oh now you got your paper ribbon sticking out on each end. Well, that's real easy to solve because, well, and there's just a little, I need to change the blades on my cutting board as well. Okay, and now we're gonna snip this off, move our sparkle into the garbage. Okay, now we're gonna take our card and we are going to now glue onto I'm going to turn it over so I don't get glue on there. I am going to now take the silicone or stamp and seal and I'm going to put that on both sides. And now you need to make sure obviously that the silver is going to be on the bottom because that's like our extra snow. And we just want to center this into the middle and put it down. There we go. And now we're gonna take our bunnies and we're gonna get ready to 
put some dimensionals on the back of them. We want it to pop a little bit. So we're gonna put this down here. And one in the middle, just so it doesn't fall. Okay, and before we stick that down, we got one more thing we're gonna do. We are going to take a scrap of basic gray and a scrap of uh, white basic white and what we're going to do is in this case you could use the black but I'm going to use basic gray and I'm going to bring in that stamp that says the best way to get through things is together and I'm going to stamp that right up here nope too hard actually I'm going to stamp onto my silicone mat just to get some of that off must be one of the stamps that I recently re-inked as well. I've been finding that all of a sudden all my stamps are needing to be re-inked. Guess it's that time. I have been using them a lot. All right, put that over there. And in this case, we're gonna use our double oval punch. And let me see, I think I put it on the end. Oh, so I'm gonna get a white one. That's okay, I can use a white one for another one. So we're just gonna center that in there. And I keep these so that I can use them for another project. And then we're gonna come in with the gray and we're going to do a gray scalloped one with the bigger oval. And now we can take our stamp and seal again. And we're gonna put a little bit on here. Put it right onto our oval, just like that. Okay, now we can remove the um, backing of the dimensionals. Oh, come on, better put those in the garbage work to hold too many at one time. Now, when we put this down, we want to make sure, as you can see here, I have it kind of centered on the top because I want to make sure I have enough room for my oval. So I am going to put this right about there. And then when you've done that, you can take yours now if we put dimensionals on the top, it's going to be another double layer. And so the way around that is to make sure that when you are placing your dimensional down, which side, this is the bottom, make sure you put your dimensionals closer to the bottom. And then you could also put a tiny strip of your, and again, do it on the stamp and seal so you don't get your workspace all dirty because then it just goes and you can rub it off. So there we go. Now we're gonna flip this around and now we're gonna put this hopefully in the center. I can't see. <laughs> Let's see, come on. Oh, helps if you remove the backing. Yep, too eager. I love crafting. There we go. All right, now we're gonna take this, see if it's center, that's pretty close. Okay, and then we press it down and now it's stuck on there but raised the same height. So now you have the card all done. And actually, I just thought of it, I could have put some silver rhinestones up there too, which I think that's what I will do. But there we have the card. So thank you for joining me today and uh, Hope you enjoy this new technique. Well, it's not new technique, but if it's new to you, um, hope you enjoy it. And if not, hopefully it gave you some other ideas and showed you that amazing new paper. So thanks for now. And if there's anything you need, you can go to my uh, madelinescraftroom.net and I have my online store and my blog and all my card classes and many other videos and resources. So check it out. Thank you so much. Bye for now.